So in the last few months or so, there has been a lot of news about the line. The line, for those of you who don't know, is a mega city project being built by Mohammed bin Salman, which will cost a staggering one trillion dollars to make. It is a 170 kilometer long line being built in the middle of the desert. It's only 200 meters wide, and the walls will be made out of pure glass. It will be a futuristic home to more than 9 million people using AI to operate everything, including grocery stores, medical centers, gardens, school, and so much more. Futuristic, isn't it? Well, they say it's going to be done by 2030, but in this video, we'll look at all the things that are wrong about the line and why we feel that it's never going to be finished. According to Mohammed bin Salman, this megacity is going to be home to 9 million people. But have you seen the homes within the line? It may look cool and all from those renders we're seeing, but I can assure you that there is no way anyone who lives in the line will have a bigger and nicer apartment than the ones in New York. It's also interesting to see that the people who live on the lower end of the line will have almost no daylight at all. This comes because there are no windows in the line, and if you want to see any kind of daylight at all, you need to go to the top of the line. You might think this isn't much of a problem, but you probably forget that the line has a height of 500 meters. This is much higher than the Empire State Building, to put that into context. It would take you more than 15 minutes to get to the top of the stairs, and it would be pretty exhausting too. Therefore, living at the bottom of the line might not be a hot take. It's also interesting to see that the line doesn't have a roof at all, and it's completely open. This means that the summer sunlight would come directly in the line, making it really hot. In the summer, it could be as warm as 45 degrees Celsius. That's 113 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way. This means that the air conditioner needs to be really good, otherwise it could be as warm in there as an oven. Of course, it rarely rains in the desert, but a few times a year could be a rainstorm in the form of a cloudburst. These normally don't last very long, but could be really, really heavy with rain falling more than 25 centimeters in an hour. If the roof would be open, this means that the entire line would be completely flooded and the water could fill up to your ankles. I hope they've thought about these things happening and they have a plan for this. The big question is though, who is going to live there? Would you live in a line that's 170 kilometers long in the middle of a desert? It's basically as if you live in an apocalypse shelter, where you only have a small space to yourself. It's not like you will leave the line each week. It takes multiple hours just for you to get to the airport and then fly back and forth just to see your family and friends. If you do decide to live there, it basically means that you have to create your own community within the line. Of course, you have all the things that you have in a normal city, but still, I don't think I'd be happy in the line personally knowing that I just can't go for a small road trip. You can't just go visit a lake, you also won't be able to go walk outside alone. You will always be surrounded by people, technology, and bricks. And let's not forget the fact that everything will be operated using artificial intelligence. This means that the privacy that you will have is extremely limited. Now that we noted some downsides which can be fixed, let's look at the downsides that can't be fixed. The line had a budget of 500 billion, but they reconsider that later to 1 trillion because 500 billion just wasn't enough. But if you look at all those renders, every human can pretty much calculate that 1 trillion probably still isn't going to be enough for a project of this size. Let's put this into perspective. The line has a volume of 17 billion cubic meters, so 1 trillion dollars would be less than 60 dollars per cubic meter. That is simply not enough money per cubic meter. 1 trillion dollars might sound quite low, but the total GDP of the world is 156 trillion dollars. This means that 0.75% of the entire world's GDP goes to one building. That's just insane if you think about it. In my opinion, the line is something from a 2010 sci-fi movie about a zombie apocalypse and everyone living in the line is just trying to survive and hoping that they can get back to their own city once the apocalypse is over. There is so much wrong with the line and some people believe that the Saudis are doing all this just so their country gets more media attention. The Saudis know that their oil supply is running out and they have to figure out different ideas on how to make money. And one of those ideas is tourism. Dubai is mostly known for the amazing buildings and all the rich that they have. Specialists believe that they are making the line mostly for tourists and it's not for people actually living there. I mean, I wouldn't want to live there but I guess I could stay there for a week or two exploring the line because you can't deny that the line does look absolutely amazing on the renders. If this made people visit Saudi Arabia more to see the line, it would make Saudi Arabia a lot of money from tourism, including flights, foods, rental cars, the line itself, the attractions in the line, and all those kind of things. 
Whether Saudi Arabia intends to use the line as an actual city or more of a tourist attraction is still unclear. But we can all agree about the fact that the project is never going to be built, and that in a few years they will be announcing a different project and that the line would end up in the garbage bin. And that's it for this video. We hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.